Hi everyone. Now that my daughter and I are into Monster High, she has decided that Laguna Blue is her favorite character and she asked me to make a bed for Laguna Blue. Even though I said Monster High sells a lot of accessories for their dolls and Laguna Blue already has a hydration station for a bed, right? Yes! I love Mommy's bed! And then I told her that we don't even have a Laguna Blue doll yet and she said, Oh then when she comes, then she shall have a bed and we'll be all ready. Which just goes to show that you cannot out-argue a four-year-old soon to be five-year-old so first thing I did was I went to Chad Allen's channel to find inspiration and, and of course he made this fabulous underwater scene for her bed and I didn't think I could replicate that so I decided to start with the headboard and I thought to myself well what if I could somehow make the headboard suggestive of a sea monster so I drew kind of an outline of a sea monster with fins and I thought well let's paint this aquamarine it's an acrylic paint that I bought that reminded me of the ocean. And so this is how the headboard turned out. I painted the fins gold and I hand drew using a black Sharpie scales all over the sea monster. For the bed itself, I used a smooth foam block from Michaels and I hot glued a piece of black construction paper all around the sides and I burned my little finger in the process, so I have a blister today. So be careful with hot glue guns, guys. For the fabric, we went to Joanne's Fabrics and found this fabric that looks like, almost like pink scales, because Laguna Blue, from what I remember, has pinkish scales on her tank top. But you have to kind of draw around it with a Sharpie to make those scales stand out. So that is what I did. I drew around all of these pink sequins and then I covered up the bed with this cloth, hot gluing it on as well. So here what I did was I hot glued the bed to the headboard and then I painted two dowel rods aquamarine. And I did too. Oh, that's right, you helped me. And then I hot glued the dowel rods to the bed in the front. And then we bought this strand of sea stars from Joanne Fabrics. And this is the Blue Moon brand of sea stars. And then we bought a yard Those of- Those look like sea clams. I don't know if they're sea clams, but they look like some kind of a sand dollar or a mollusk, one of those invertebrates that lives in the ocean. So I used that strand to hot glue to the tops of the two dowel rods. My daughter apparently thinks the starfish goes on the sea monster, but I think they should go on the poles. And in fact, I think that I should be hot gluing one of these, or both of these, to the tops of the poles. For Laguna's blanket, we found a piece of fabric that looks like water with ripples in it and it's translucent. And then there was another piece of trim that is gold that looks almost like the way sea fans grow and I thought that was beautiful too. We also used these two broken off pieces of fake coral. They're from a Pottery Barn Center piece that we have and I was actually glad for once they were broken off. And this is a sea sponge that I'm going to incorporate somehow. And um, okay, so now the sea stars have been hot glued on and I need to find a way to incorporate the coral, which I painted a coral color. I think I'll hot glue it to the ends of the bed, to the ends of the sea monster headboard. I think it looks nice, attached to either end like that. And now for the blanket. So I hot glued the ribbon, the sea fan gold ribbon onto either end of the piece of fabric that looks like water. And that will be Laguna Blue's comforter. And I guess I didn't really think things through because those sea sand dollars that are hanging down obstruct putting her, putting her blanket on, but I guess it would go over the headboard like that. I turned the sea sponge into her pillow. I basically plunked it in a bowl of pink paint 
and soaked it all up and then hot glued a sea star on top. And so her head will go on the pillow, her feet underneath the translucent blanket. And there you have it. That is Laguna Blue's bed. My little girl really likes it. And I think I do too. It's kind of interesting. Now hopefully when Laguna Blue gets here, she will like it too. Thanks for watching.